back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision where I share with you all beauty, fitness, hauls, and everything you need to know about making candles. In today's video, I'm so excited to share with you all how to make a commercial for your candle business. For the longest, I really wanted to work hard to put my best foot forward, to market myself in the best light, to show customers and potential customers what I've been working so hard on so they can find value in it. And I thought what better way to do that than to offer an interactive commercial which is pleasing to the eyes and it's aesthetically pleasing and it's catching your attention and it makes you just want to buy everything. Just buy it out. Just, you know, cash out. Go crazy. <laughs> I figured out a great method using what I've learned from making a YouTube intro. Yes. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all step by step how to make a candle commercial using canva.com. This is a completely free resource that you can use to make your own products look more aesthetically pleasing, more marketable, receive a higher conversion rate, and actually sell some candles. Definitely stay tuned for the video, and if you do like videos like this, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. All right, let's just jump right into it. Okay guys, so the first thing you'll need to do is go to canva.com. As you can see, I'm already here and I'm already logged in. I would highly suggest you sign up for Canva. It's a really great resource for you all to leverage when you are using commercial advertising and it's free, completely free. And as you can see here, they give you great templates for the first thing you'll see is your designs, but then they'll move on to really great templates for every different type of social media outlet. So you'll see Instagram posts, Facebook posts, posters, logos, flyers, everything you need. So for us, we're gonna be doing a commercial for Instagram. So for that, you can use one of their templates. And I wanna start with their first template, Spring is Here, guys. So you just select the template and then it automatically comes up and then what will happen is it'll show you that first template. Um, so you'll see that first slide of all of the beautiful animation. So as you can see, it says spring is here. And with that, I don't wanna change a thing. I wanna keep it the same way. The second thing we're gonna do is create another slide. So I'm just gonna select add a page. So with that, you have a brand new slide to work off of. And in order to use this slide the perfect way, we're gonna include a stock photo. So you have the option of using a stock photo or you can use your own candle making product photos. If you haven't seen my video on how to create your own product photos, I would say just click this link right here. It'll take you straight to it. In that video, I went in detail on how to create your own photos. But for this tutorial purposes, we'll just use some stock photos. So the first stock photo I wanna use is this pretty spring photo. And in order to find this, all you'll need to do is type in spring candles. So as you can see, they'll give you all of these beautiful options, guys. Canva has so many great stock photos that you've never seen anywhere else, which is super great to use. So as you can see, I found this picture just right here, super easy. And we'll just expand it so it'll fit the entire Instagram post. And what I love about Canva is that even if you expand it, it just looks like a zoomed in photo. It does not take away from resolution or anything of that nature. So boom, and now we have our beautiful second slide. And I wanna incorporate text. If you want to get your, get your clients' attention, it's really important to incorporate text on each slide. So for this slide, we're gonna incorporate the same font which is also a key element to pay attention to. If you keep it consistent, it has a more aesthetically pleasing look. So I just copy this um, text box right here, and then I'm gonna go to slide two and paste it. So here it is. And for me, I like to add something really interesting for my clients, like uh, check out our latest collection. I feel like this type of uh, wording will definitely encourage them to say hey what's this new i love new and great and fun <laughs> and with this you just keep the same format of having the first letter capitalized and you guys i don't know if you noticed there was this really cool schmear thing behind the um 
first slide. So we're gonna copy that. So just grab it, just click on its text box and press command copy. And then we're gonna paste it right here. Cause you know, like it looks good. And formality, it saves you, it gets you higher conversion. So here, we're just gonna change the color of it. Cause as you can see, it's pretty peach. And we wanna change it to be just like the, just something that's aesthetically pleasing for slide two. So we'll go into the picture, the color, it's in the top left. Click on the color. And the best thing about Canva, you guys, is that it incorporates colors that are already in the stock photo or in your slide that you can use. So here, as you can see, it says photo colors. And after we incorporate that schmear, we're gonna change the color to this pretty pink, because it just matches, you know? And as you can see, it's hiding the text. So you just select position and you go backwards. That way you can see your pretty text and you know just what to expect. All right. So next we can move on to slide three and that is going to be another slide just indicating what is what we have available. And I'd like to do a behind the scenes slide for this. I would highly suggest incorporating a behind the scenes slide in your commercial. It gives people insight into how you came up with this, you know? So for that, you can go into photos. And how I found this was just typing in candles and just scrolling through candles. You'll get a feel for all of these stock photos of candles. And then you get this really good one here <laughs> where it's like, candle wax being poured which is such an aesthetic you guys i'm totally going to create a picture like this for myself as well and you should do the same very eye -catch catching so as you can see i'm just expanding that photo so it's easy easy to see and i love a good zoom in so now you can just see that trickling down and what we're going to do here like i said before is add more text so you just copy that text box and paste it in here and we're gonna change the words you know I like to incorporate something that is going to appease people like new fresh scents I think that's something that I would be interested in so that's why I incorporate it and you guys know we gotta go get that schmear so we're gonna grab it and copy it and paste it over here and it doesn't have to be this bright pink anymore because that doesn't match so we'll go into that color square and you look on your left side and as i said before how amazing is canva they show you the colors in the photo to give you some ideas of what you should do so we're going to choose this pretty auburny brown here and then change the position to backward boom so and then you can even make that smaller it doesn't have to be too big on this slide as long as it's the same concept it will look good so you can make it even a little bit smaller Perfect, move this up a little bit, schmear up. Oh no, command, undo that. And move schmear up. <laughs> Call it a schmear like Dame's waffles. Comment down below if y'all been to Dame's chicken and waffles. It's a great place to be. <laughs> All right, so that is done. Now let's move on to slide four. Oh. Let's move on to slide four. This is gonna be your candles. This is gonna be a good insight into your candle. I'm just gonna go with this picture here, but in your own commercial, just grab a picture of high resolution picture of your candles that you are launching. And you put that on slide four here and you know, we gotta go get it, go grab that text. It looks so good to have text on every page. It's definitely inviting and gives people information into what you're offering them, you know? So I like to put stuff like warm, inviting fragrances. That's actually my mission statement for Sense of Vision, my candle line. So you can talk. I just think warm, inviting fragrances sounds good. And you know what we gotta do? Go grab that schmear. <laughs> so I'm just gonna copy that and then paste it into this document. And we're gonna change the coloring. So you just change, click on that square. And like I said before, I showed you the photo colors. I think this green looks good. So we'll just go for this green and position it backward. Boom yes that works <laughs> that's it boom yes like um no new, new but yeah i think that keeping that candle flame in this picture would look really good too so i just scroll that down and that is it for slide four let's move on to slide five 
Okay, for slide five, we're just gonna incorporate our call to action, it's our last slide. So I'd like to just do a good spring photo. Just something in line with what we're trying to accomplish. So I'll just type in to search spring. And while scrolling through spring, it shows you some really pretty options of just pretty spring pictures. And I love that all of them have that space for you to write. And this one is gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous, okay? So we're gonna go with this. How could you not? And it just has this picture, like a piece of paper for you to write on. <laughs> love it. So you know what we're about to grab the text here and we're gonna put wait no see this is the best part about being creative you get to switch it up and I think that it'd be better for us to go with a different photo so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go with a different photo and this one is my favorite I've used this in the past and I think you would love it if you want to use anything for your spring collection as well so boom this is our last slide. <laughs> Next, we're gonna grab the text from our last slide and press paste and then move it over here. Perfect. So we're gonna change that text to a call to action, which is click the link in bio to shop now. Exclamation point. <laughs> you know, call to action. Let people know where to go. You know, super great. So what we gotta do, grab that schmear. <laughs> so copy a little schmear thing, paste it here, make it a little bigger. And then we're gonna change that color to something different. And the photo colors, you just choose one that you think works best. I think this blue is beautiful, so we're gonna go with that. And then position it backward, perfect. So, and then you just center that out. So as you can see, we are all done with that. I wanna add a little extra something to the slide. I think we should add an element. So we're gonna add in some stars. So I already used them, but I just wanna show you how to find them. You just do star animated. After you type in star animated, uh, Canva will pop up all of these beautiful animations you can use. They are amazing, guys. So I'll just choose these really pretty ones right here. And as always, I never really have to move the stars around. They're always in the perfect position, you know, good to go. So with that, we are done with our five slide commercial. All we need to do is take a look at it and see what the transitions are. So you just press play in the far right. And as you can see, it has these beautiful transitions. Guys, this is heavenly. See how it slides up? Yes, I love how it matches as well. Beautiful. Perfect. So honestly, I wouldn't change these transitions a bit, but I wanna show you what to do if you were interested in changing them. As you can see, I scrolled up to the top and the far left, it says rise. If you click on the slide, wait, and then you click on rise, it'll show you in the far left page animations of exactly what your options are with regard to transitions, which is critical to your marketing. You wanna make sure your transitions are seamless and then eye-catching and entertaining. So you have the option of doing a block, which just moves in, a fade, which fades in, pan, tumble, zoom. What it's already on right now is rise, guys. This one is the best one, I say, because it just brings your information up. And as you all know, we selected a template from the Canva homepage, right? We selected an Instagram post template. And with that, it gave you the automatic rise uh, transition on all five slides, which is perfect because all of the slides have a uniform transition, which is totally what we want. Keep it as uniform as possible. Uniform creates a polished look, which makes it more eye-catching for your sales. So with that, we are all set with the transitions and we can move on to the music. Guys, I'm so happy to share with you all another great feature on Canva.com. 
you can actually use Canva to add copyright free music. It's amazing. You, you really can't go wrong. So just in the far left, you select audio. And then as you can see, it'll give you a different um, keywords you could that are suggested for you to type in. So you could type in pop instrumental, instrumental, epic, piano, advertising. That's what you want. You want advertising music, which is super important. You want people to be entertained. So for advertising music, let's just play the first one, see what it sounds like. <laughs> That's good, but it may not be what people want to hear from you with regard to advertising. It sounds a little cliche. If you have some kind of punk rock, you know, candles, that would work. But for me, guys, I go with, I'll show you what I recently used, and you can use this too. Hope will prevail. <laughs> the song is just so inviting it almost made me cry i used it for my launch commercial you guys i'll insert that clip here So you could see it how it came out but guys it's such a beautiful song it makes you sound like you worked on something really hard and this is the fruits of my labor that i'm you know sharing with you so we'll use that to use it you just click on it and slide it in to your commercial and as you can see it just pops up in that far left for you and then they automatically play it for you Another great feature here is that you can choose where it starts. So you see that light blue? That shows you where it starts. So if you don't want it to start there and you want it to start over here, it's fine. I feel like something just fell. But yeah, like right here. exciting doesn't it sound a little more exciting so let's just play that all the way through so you guys can see the final product So that was the end of how to create a commercial. I really want to give you all an overview of what you have to do, what it takes to create your own commercial to make sure it's organized and perfect for advertising. So definitely comment down below if you tried this and let me know how it goes. And if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. All right, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night, your week, your weekend. Just live in your purpose and love life. Okay, bye.